But my question was, uh, once again, to the listeners and viewers, right? It's more of like, have you ever had the experience of visiting, like, say, a restaurant that you go with your family, like, for, like, maybe... It, it's been so long, and then you all thought of visiting. And then when you all try, and then you're, like, massively disappointed. Or just disappointed. I won't use the word massive, but disappointed. by maybe because of changes or whatsoever. So if you have, like, let us know your experience. I think, I, I think we want to hear. Uh, as I get to my story, I won't name this... Per se establishments because we're not out here to shame people. Uh, Wait, actually it depends. Okay, I'll be the judge of this, right? Like if your disappointment came from your own personal expectation or like the shop itself. Okay, really? If it's your own personal thing, right? I think like you should just let people know. <laughs> what, what do you mean by personal thing? Like maybe it's you remember it to be better. You had some like positive memory on this and then you sort of like expected to get it back. Okay, so I feel like for most like family diners mm-hmm. or like brands or whatever you always go back not because like not that the food is great usually it's convenience for mine yeah convenience or like uh, so- some of the food is great like m- yeah. maybe there are one or two items that is great or like but usually it's average yeah, yeah. For, for mine is I'm happy to name it it's Swenson's yeah it's like oh it's today's a treat today's yeah. someone's birthday we go yeah, to Swenson's yeah, yeah. so have you been in Swenson's the past yeah last year so my dad's birthday we went back to Swenson's oh how was it alright yeah, <laughs> like, okay, but, but the thing is even back then I knew it was alright back then I think it was greater than alright because like we didn't really have a lot of competitors we had Jack's Place we yeah, had, yeah. Uh, Aston's was in its infancy and yeah, things like yeah. that so like I think Swenson's was always the easier to get to and easy, yeah. whatnot, family diners or whatnot so, right. so, so I, I was just thinking like I, I mean I thought about this as, as I was eating at that place said, said establishment uh so, granted, uh, this is the second experience at the sit establishment that I actually went on a whim to go for it again. So, the very first time I had this set that came with a lobster and a steak for like $40, $40 plus. And uh, you have your, you know, like classic set, the one soup, one meal, yeah, yeah, yeah. One, one dessert or something. Honestly, I just didn't really bother about the food. Uh. Like, I was just like, sure, I just wanted to eat the set and like just try, you know, how good or how bad it is. The first time I remember, like, it, it was bang average. And I was like, you know, like, it, it's okay. Maybe it's an mm. off day or something. And it was quite value for money. I, I don't deny that. that it's definitely value for money. But I was like, okay, maybe it's an off day. My steak was overcooked. Lobster was, like, warm. Wasn't hot. Uh, and soup and ice cream, soup and ice cream. Uh, we all know what that is. Uh. <laughs> uh, so, so, not too much shit or whatever. But I, I was like, okay. Uh, as I say this out the menu, I think some people might have figured out said establishment, but uh, I'm just going to let you figure out yourself. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not going to get like cancelled or backfired for anything. So, so, second experience in the recent years, I just went back quite recently, and I had the, and I saw the exact same set, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to go for it again, like just to prove a point. One of my aunts had something else, and her steak came out too rare. Okay. And I was like, great, because I like rare. So I don't want my steak to be overcooked. When mine came, <laughs> mine was almost raw. Grey rings. Huh? Yeah, mine was almost raw. Like, like, oh, okay. blue, like blue rare. Blue. Yeah, blue rare. And I was like, wow, I can't make this shit up. Like, I was like, <laughs> what in the world? And at that point of time, the money-wise, it was still around the same price. So I, I, I didn't fidget too much. I guess as you get older, I was just thinking also like four forty five or $45 or whatever it was, I kind of could spend my money elsewhere. Yeah. Uh, and that's what kind of annoyed me. For, for the, I wasn't about the money, but it was more for like the same money I could take it out to a similar style restaurant and I may have gotten it better. So granted, I know this restaurant has something else popular in their books, but I did not order. Damn. That's loud even for our standards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got, yeah, I got cancelled by the car. <laughs> but, but I did not order the... Specialty. Yeah, but the thing is that I was doing comparison to the same thing, right? The same sets, more or less. Uh, more or less the same sets. And I just wanted to know like wh- whether it was a me thing or uh, whatsoever. But I know like, my family did not uh, per se enjoy that, that last dinner at least. Okay. Uh, and it was like... I, I think my brother's meal got forgotten. Oh, okay. like, like they missed the order. Yeah, missed the order. Right. So this was like, eh, like, it, it, but it is a family dining kind. I wasn't expecting much, but it's just I think it could be handled a bit better. 
and on that note, like, like as I went in the restaurant, what I wanted to bring up was that, like, when I went in, it was 60% full already. But when I left, it was, like, three-quarter full. And yeah. I was just thinking about the food that I was eating. I was like, if everyone kind of did the same set as me for that quality of food, for that price, granted in this, our current economics, I don't know, man. Like, I could be much more satisfied with a delivery or a yeah. another place. Like, I, and I'm comparing, not say, like, chicken rice to the steak or whatever. I'm comparing, like, steak to steak comparison. Yeah. So, like, you will compare... I mean, you're talking about a family diner, right? So, you're looking at Aston's, you're looking at Swenson's, yeah, and things yeah. like that. Like, yeah. my, my example, my comparison was actually Sw- uh, Aston's to that place. Mm. And I was thinking, like, I would actually be happier eating Aston's. Yeah. Uh, with the same money. Maybe not the Hell, same Hell, I think you, even you can afford Collins. Yeah. yeah. So, I, I was just a bit, like, confused. So, so, what really hit me at the end of this story was, like, how much of it, like... Are we blind eating or is there like a purpose as we do these nostalgia kind of things? Like it's nice in terms of returning to somewhere. Uh, say I'm yeah. not I'm not saying that the establishment should be cancelled or whatever. Like, yeah. It's an institution, it's a whatever you want to call it. Mm. And it's fine. But I think there are certain standards or stuff to uphold, granted that you're still a business and you're selling a product to a customer or whatnot. But say like a Chakwitel shop that has been running for 20, 30 years. Right, the reason why people go back because it's either consistent or, you know, we like the stuff. And that's why it keeps on going and people always return to visit. I did repeat this once or twice already that when we go back to somewhere we have sort of like a nostalgic feeling for, there should come a time where if we are really not enjoying the food, we should ask ourselves, eh, why are we still going back? Yeah, yeah. So I feel a bit sad like asking myself that question mm. as I was at that place eating. But then again, I, I also talked to myself. That, that's why you asked me whether it was an individual thing. Mm. Whether I'd grown out of that space or was it uh, your palate change or something. But at the same time, I was like, how can like that 60% restaurant become three-quarter food? So like, I mean, I'm not trying to imply that I'm better or whatever, but it's just like that mass mm. amount of people. But just focusing on this said establishment, right? Because I do know that, you know, they have good deals for like, let's say students. I mean, the more we oh, say, yeah, I yeah, think but, the more but, people yeah, yeah, yeah. know this <laughs> 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 establishment. Um, minus all of that, right? Yeah, so no, I'm just thinking, just answering your question about 60% to 75%, right? Like maybe people just want a good deal. They like, don't really care too much for what they eat. Which also is the other part of the question that baffles me. Right. Right, like if it's all about deals, then there's then by the example, I was like, no, I'd rather just order from Aston's. Uh. The deal might be better. Yeah, 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 true, true, true. So, then yeah. which is why for this this particular situation that I was in, like, the deal didn't really feel like a deal. Mm. By volume, maybe, but I could spend the same amount at Aston's and get a deal and a flavored fill. So, you feel like the flavor not flavor the, the nostalgic taste but it's a better reason than I'm just going for a good deal yeah 100% I, I think at the end of the day at least based on what I think I feel for places that uh, are nostalgic to me I think at the end of the day the priority is still the food like it has to be a good product then the other things are secondary but haven't you ever said this before like oh I know the food trashy I just want to go because I like the vibes oh 100% there are some days like that and that day that I for the vibes and the money, I don't think it was worth uh, okay. it. Like, like the experience right. wasn't... Like, like so just, nothing like made up for anything else? Yeah. A- including the service, I think it just like if it's, a, if it's the FIFA hand, yeah. <laughs> the hexagon, yeah. there it was, was nothing that... Nothing. <laughs> nothing. So I was like, I think I'm quite curious to get people's thoughts on say their own nostalgic places. Uh, what do they think it's like the priority Mm. of their place but even for for this point right i do note that even when we see some food review shows like the hosts or like the presenters sometimes they give passes to certain foods just because they have like some nostalgia connected back to what they are reviewing and i mean it's not a big deal you know at the end of the day whether you want to take these reviews seriously or not is really up to you but um i'm just wondering about you know, if you are a presenter, you've got to present some truth, right? <laughs> In a way, is it though? I don't know. But then again, okay, uh, yeah, it's going to be in a rabbit hole. But review shows, you don't know what's endorsed and not. Yeah, we, yeah. we don't, we don't. And sometimes it's uh, very hard to... I mean, even just reviews itself. So back to the questions for our listeners, yeah. Like, let us know if any of your nostalgia places 
granted local or overseas or anything, what actually eggs you on to go back to that place? By the food, by the memories or the experience, like what 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 is what is it? And this is also kind of like a food for thought for you as you visit any of your establishments in the future, like truly what is it 